Hello everyone, so in this video, we are going to show you how to download the flashback mod for Minecraft Java 1.21.3. Take it away. So, if you want the flashback mod, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open up your browser of choice. I'm going to be using Chromium for this video. And you're probably going to have some version of Chrome. So, what you're going to want to do here is just type in mod rinse to the search bar and it's going to show you modern you're going to want to click on the top result so as you can see the place for minecraft mod packs servers mods and other stuff you know resource packs plugins whatever data packs so you're going to want to click on discover mods and right over here you're going to want to type into the search bar flashback and you'll have this uh, this result up here it was updated four hours ago so you're gonna want to click on the mod and now you're gonna want to click on versions and we're gonna be downloading this version so you are going to click on this version and you want to scroll down to dependencies so the dependencies that we have here is fabric api now, what is Fabric API? Well, it's super simple. Fabric API is just a modification that some mods need to uh, need to be able to run when you're using the Fabric Loader. So that means we need Fabric API and we need the Fabric Loader. So, step one, we're gonna download Flashback. While that downloads, we're gonna search up Fabric Minecraft. And we're going to click on the top result, which is fabricmc.nag. We're going to click on the blue download button on the second blue download button, and that's going to install. Now, we're going to type in fabric API download. And it will take you right back to ModRinf. So you're going to want to download this as well. If you go over to versions, you can see there was an update to this exactly 12 minutes ago however we're going to be downloading the one that came out 45 minutes ago so we scroll down it has no dependencies apart from the fabric loader which is just self-explanatory so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the download button and it will now be downloaded now we have to wait for this to be done validating Meanwhile, I'm just going to close the other tabs. Uh, here is Fabric API. So, now that we have all of this, we are free to close our browser. Let me just do that, and there we go. What you're going to want to do now is go over to your file explorer, and you will be in this quick access page. From the quick access page, you can access your pinned folders. And uh, assuming you're running a version of Windows, downloads will be one of your pinned folders. So you click on downloads, and here you will have all the files you downloaded. So first off, there's a very specific order to this. So you click on the fabric installer, you double click on it, and it will open up this window. 1.21.3 and it's going to give you a loader version. All of this is already ready to go, assuming you want the newest version, which is what we're going to be doing here, so just click install, and it's done. So now that we've done that, we are free to open up the Minecraft launcher. And... It's loading, it's loading, you can see the armadillo running through the savannah, and there we go, now we're in. So, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to click on installations, you're going to want to go over to this folder icon, and you're going to want to click on this new mods folder that you have in your .minecraft folder. From here, it's very simple. You just go over to your downloads folder. You select the two things that you want to and that you want to move, which are the two other mods, and 
you plop them into the mods folder and now you are free to close file explorer you will no longer need it so now what you're gonna want to do is click on play and uh, launch the game so now that you are in the game you'll see minecraft 1.21.3 fabric modded and you'll also see this icon here if you click it you'll see you have no actual replays so to get a replay it's relatively simple so uh, what you're gonna want to do is click on create new world and you're gonna want to go into do whatever you want to do I'm just gonna do creative super flat five generate structures and uh, generate new world so now that you are in the game if you click escape you'll see this flashback section and you'll be able to press start recording so flashback started recording now I'm gonna go over to these slimes and beat them up there we go now that I've beaten up the slimes I'm gonna click pause recording and finish recording I'm gonna re I'm gonna change the replay name to slime replay I'm gonna click save replay and I'm going to click save and quit the title now we're gonna want to click on this and here we'll have slime replay with a duration of 18 seconds so we are going to want to edit and here you'll be, you can see that you can combine it with other replays so that is actually really useful you have you can save the changes that you do very simple so we're just gonna launch it and here you will notice we have an entire editing software inside of minecraft how cool is that so so here you can see you can add elements for example you can add a fov element that can be keyframed so for example we start the fov at 40 add and then as our character walks away we start looking over here and the fov has another keyframe at 110 so now if we go at the start uh, we will be able to see that our FOV gets more intense if we add another element which is camera and add a keyframe for camera we add the keyframe to be here we need to zoom in oh we have flying speed so uh, we click it add keyframe here and uh, maybe point us a bit more downward so we don't have the name tag in the way a bit more up there we go and uh, now we press play and at the second keyframe position just very simple we add another camera keyframe which is just in that direction so now uh, the finished product should look something like this. There you go. Obviously, there's way more stuff that you can play with, like camera orbit and other stuff. Like this, for example. Go over here. I'm gonna remove these keyframes so this isn't a factor. I'll change the distance to 900 this to 40 and this to 40 and I'm gonna add it and now it's gonna break everything because the distance is so insane but as you can see there are there are a lot of things to play around with and there's a lot of stuff to learn you can also override the fog you can override time a lot of the stuff you can modify you can choose if you want to render name tags and stuff like that. This is a really powerful tool for content creators, and overall, I believe this is better than Replay Mod. So now, 
uh, let's say you have made your masterpiece. I'm gonna bring back my. I'm gonna bring back my previous thing. So you can use control control Z to undo, and you can use control Y to redo as well. Once you click on here, and now we go back to my masterpiece. And so now we have this. So it's very simple. You just click File, Export Video. Now you'll see it takes a little bit of time to load. Now you can change the frame rate as well. You can even change the codec. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is just make this 120 FPS and start export. You can also choose to record audio, which is not a feature on Replay Mod, which is another great advantage for flashback. 500 out of 2000, so now you'll have this screen which will show everything that you need to know about your export. And uh, I will be showing you the finished product of the finished render right now.